In today's episode, we're diving into the colourful and captivating collection of 12 colour me fragrances by the renowned British fragrance house Milton Lloyd. These all represent extraordinary value for money and I paid just £88.96 for this entire collection of 12 50ml size bottles. Each one of these also comes in a 100ml size variant too at just a few pounds extra. All of them are really long lasting EDPs and there's even a 6 hour longevity guarantee printed on the top of each box. They're all inspired by uh, much more expensive niche and designer fragrances. So today I'm going to be letting you know what each one smells like and whether I managed to recognise what it's uh, meant to resemble. Most are pretty obvious, uh, but there's two or three that I'm not quite sure what they're meant to be copying, even though they do smell pretty good. Milton Lloyd has mastered the art of combining uh, high quality with affordability, making luxury smelling scents access uh, accessible to everyone, even in this uh, cost of living crisis. They're probably better known for their perfumer's choice range, uh, but this colour me collection caught my eye recently, so I just thought I'd uh, share, share them with you today. And I just want to state that I have absolutely no connection with the brand whatsoever. I'm not an affiliate, and uh, this video isn't in return for any financial reward, so you can be sure that uh, this is my own honest and uh, transparent opinion. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to talk about these two, which basically come as a pair. Uh, we've got the Colour Me Silver, which is based on the Chanel Allure Homme Sport. And then we've got the Colour Me Silver Sport, which uh, it, I believe is a copy of the o Homme Sport O Extreme version. Both of these are fresh and energising scents with bright citrusy openings, peppery heart notes and woody earthy base notes. And both are extremely versatile and, be, and uh, they'll be fine for any situation. I actually prefer the uh, Silver Sport in the darker grey coloured box though because I, d I prefer the O-Extreme version in the uh, original Chanel versions. I find the Mandarin Orange in, in this one just brings a touch more juicy sweetness. It's not quite as bitter and as herbaceous as the Silver one. But neither of these are as quite as potent and as smoothly blended as the originals. And uh, that goes for the, this entire range. But they are about 75 to 80% there in terms of the quality, uh, but just at less than 10% of the cost, which is uh, really nice. Okay, next up is this one called Vault. And going off the name and the colour of the packaging alone, there's absolutely no clue as to what it may be inspired by. Uh, but it's actually very similar to Dior Sauvage EDT. And from the initial first spray, you'll instantly recognise that Sauvage DNA comes straight through. It's, un it's unmistakable. And speaking of first sprays, uh, all of these have pressurised bottles and the sprays are absolutely superb, delivering a really satisfying blast of fragrance mist. But just be careful because uh, they do spray out quite a lot of juice uh, with every spray that you, uh, you spray on these. So as soon as uh, you start spraying them, you'll notice the levels start going down uh, pretty quickly. But in terms of scent accuracy, this Vault one is really good and uh, I don't really need to do a side-by-side -side accuracy test because it's close enough to easily recognise what it's meant to be. And when you're paying up, uh, under £8 a bottle for them, uh, that's definitely good enough for me. Right, so this next one is called Colour Me Oud. Uh, so I'm sure you can have a wild guess at two or three very popular Oud-based fragrances that it might be inspired by. Uh, but it's actually very close to uh, Oud Wood by Tom Ford. It's a rich, warm fragrance, uh, opening with citrus accords and soon transitions to a warm cardamom, rose and jasmine heart. The honey sweet base notes are a rich blend of precious woods, tobacco and warm amber in musk. And in my opinion, this is one of the highlights of this entire range. It's really well balanced and uh, smells much more expensive than what you pay for it. It seems to last uh, a touch longer than most of the others uh, in the line too, so a brilliant one to wear on, a, on cooler days when you just want something to cut through the, uh, the cold crisp air. Okay, so this fifth one is called Colour Me Dark Red, and it's an oriental spicy floral scent that I'm sure most of you will have already guessed what it might be. This is inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540, which is a sophisticated and elegant uh, unisex fragrance with predominant citrus and uh, fresh fruit notes up top, as well as uh, some a rich jasmine floral accord. The middle notes uh, are warm ambers, saffron and cedar, uh, and they're, they're all supported by more of a more tenacious base notes of ambery resins and musks. Uh, but if you're new to fragrances and you haven't tried Baccarat Rouge 540, I'd say it's going to be the most challenging one to get used to, out of, especially out of these uh, 12 colour me scents. But it's definitely still worth trying out at the price that you pay. 
But if you're uh, familiar with the original, again, this is one that as soon as uh, you first spray it, there's no doubt what it's based on. You just get that iconic uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA just come straight through. Okay, next up, we have Colour Me Black. And according to the Milton Lloyd website, this is described as a fresh and invigorating masculine fragrance. Fruity, fresh sparkling notes of bergamot and water fruits lift a diffusive heart of uh, distinctive aromatic geranium and leather. The warm base made of vanilla, patchouli and sandalwood envelop the uh, sensual and attractive tenacity, which basically should translate to a smell just like the original Pacaraban Invictus. Again, anyone with any fragrance experience will recognise this DNA instantly, uh, which is a super versatile, mass appealing scent that you can just wear all year round. It's fresh, clean and sweet and perfect for younger guys or teenagers. It's always been a, a massive compliment puller for me personally, so anyone who hasn't smelled Invictus in, uh, in the past, uh, you're going to love this one and it's just a, a very easy daily, uh, daily driver that you can wear all year round. Okay, next uh, we've got Colour Me White, which I've seen being described online as a copy of Creed's Silver Mountain Water, uh, but that's definitely not correct in my opinion. And it is a copy of another Creed fragrance though, which is Creed Aventus. It's definitely close enough to resemble that distinctive uh, Aventus scent profile, but not close enough to fool anyone into believing that you're wearing the real deal. It still smells absolutely great though, with a lovely fruity opening and uh, a deep, rich, woody base uh, that's superb for the price that you pay. It's pretty long lasting too and you'll still be catching wafts of it a couple of hours after you've first sprayed it. But I'm not sure about the 6 hour claim with this one. In fact I think the 6 hour claim is taking things to the limit uh, with all of these. Uh, and I seem to stop detecting them after a couple of hours. But maybe people around you might still be able to catch the odd waft of them after that. But they are quite faint. But again at this price point that's uh, more than decent enough. And you can afford to give yourself a, a top up spray every now and again. Yeah, this next one is called Colour Me Abstract Art, uh, which is based on Bleu de Chanel EDT. So again, a super easy to wear, mass appealing, dumb reach scent uh, that's going to get you loads of compliments. This is uh, a really versatile fragrance, but probably uh, be better suited to the warmer months of the year, in my opinion, because it's got a bright citrusy opening, uh, lots of fruitiness and uh, a mild woody dry down. This would be the one that I'd recommend if you just want a no frills fragrance that you can just wear to work or just as a, a, a general daily driver just to get the job done. Okay, so this next one is Colour Me Gold, uh, which is a copy of the very popular One Million by Paco Rabanne. It's a rich, very sweet and slightly spicy aroma with a distinctive leathery character. So again, this is one that you should easily recognise as soon as you spray it for the first time. And it's a, a very likeable, easy to wear scent for a night out or to wear in uh, cooler temperatures because it is far too sweet and dense to wear as a, a casual daytime scent. But that's it for the, uh, the ones that I can uh, say with absolute confidence what they're meant to be inspired by. And these last three, which are the green, the blue and the azure, are all quite generic and nothing really jumps out at me what they could be copies of. I could possibly have a wild guess that the blue is loosely based around Versace Dylan Blue or something like that. The green gets compared often to uh, Dunhill Desire Red Online, uh, which I don't own, so I can't confirm or deny that. But it's just another fresh, generic type designer fragrance uh, smell. I don't have a clue what the Azure one is based on, uh, but again, it's a fresh, clean and versatile citrusy scent that's fine to wear in the warmer months. But again, uh, it doesn't have that uniqueness where you're instantly reminded of a, a particular fragrance. And instead, it's similar to around 10 blue fragrances that I already own. Uh, but having said that, it does smell really, really good. So if you're not bothered about the fragrance being an accurate clone of anything, uh, then any of these three might, uh, might be worth taking a look at. But overall, I've got to say that this is a great little collection for anyone that's on a super tight budget and just wants to be able to wear a different scent every day of the week and just experience some iconic fragrances without breaking the bank. They aren't as accurate as your dedicated copy fragrance houses like the Perfume Parlor or the Essence Vault, etc. And they do have a slight synthetic quality to them. But for the cost of a couple of coffees from a high street coffee shop, you simply can't go wrong with any of these. My top three in the collection uh, would be the Oud, the Vault, and also the Silver Sport, but there's none of them that I, uh, I would say that I dislike. 
So if you're on the lookout for something cheap and cheerful that's just going to uh, make you smell a million dollars, then these definitely might be your answer. So I would def I'd, I'd highly recommend that you at least check one or two of these out. So that's about it for this uh, Colour Me uh, collection from Milton Lloyd. So until next time, stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye-bye for now.